In Rwanda, a lost world. The rainforest, which has sustained life across millennia. A land where plants and moisture are all tangled up in green. Call it nature, paradise, or plain ecology. It's a haven for the rarest of animals. But one species, mankind, has degraded the landscape by unsustainable farming, and in Rwanda, by the most extreme forms of conflict and turmoil. Could this story of light and shadow yet have a miraculous end. Rwanda as nature intended, undisturbed by man. Nyungwe National Park is strictly protected by the government, a virgin forest in the heart of Africa. Nsengi is part of a team who help conserve these hills and valleys. An ecosystem that works and some of the most astonishing biodiversity in Africa. As you can see, it's really fabulous in terms of you can see the different habitat from the canopy and the mountain. It's a wonderful attraction for tourists. One for the beauty by seeing, by looking at the, the physical features, mountains and then the valley, the swamp. But also the swamp area contains a home for different species. The biodiversity, the water, and the soil fertility, which come from the Rwandan forest, don't just nourish the wildlife. All around the park, the people benefit as well. The thriving tea plantations depend on the water that flows from the forests, as do all the farmers. The Rwandan hills and mountains are what is known in Africa as highland water towers. Traditionally, when the heavy rains come every year, the vast forest filters the water and regulates its flow. The water here is not only used by, by, by Rwandese. It goes throughout the Africa, it goes up to Egypt. This is going in Congo River. And in the east, it goes to the, the Nile River. And that, no one understands that if water is going there, it, come, it is coming from somewhere. It's coming from a functional system. But if instead of conserving the forest, humans denude the vegetation and degrade the lands, the water often floods, causing havoc across the region. Rwanda is at the headwaters of two of these most critical uh, water resources for the entire African uh, continent. What happens here does have a knock-on effect downstream. And I think uh, in a globalised economy, we've got to think globally about environmental problems.